Anyway, hello everybody and welcome back to Level With Me. My name is Mike and we are back to playing, uh, or I, I guess continue, continuing on with the Metroid series with Metroid 2. This is the remake that was done uh, back in 2016, AM2R. I am joined here by my co-host Corey. How you doing, Corey? What's up, everyone? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm excited to watch this. I've always heard a lot of great things about AM2R. Yeah. It, it really, I mean, I was uh, trying to play Samus Returns for our Metroid 2, like, let's play, but, again, I'm, I'm not very professional. I, I, I have no way of recording 3DS um, games. So I thought I'll just do this, because this is still a great game. It definitely is worthy of being, like, you know, the Metroid 2, um, or I guess being, like, an alternative way of playing Metroid 2, because the, the original Game Boy game, as as great as it is, I don't think it's really exciting to watch for, like, like, like a... Let's play purposes. So now, uh, just to let people know, we we did try recording this like last week, but then uh, I've unfortunately had audio issues, so we're, we're gonna start from scratch. It, it, luckily, we didn't lose too much time. And uh, this actually is the updated version. I now I was talking to Corey earlier. I just learned recently because I'm a fake Metroid fan that AM2R was they some team was continuing to update the game. So this is actually version 1.5. I'm not exactly sure what all the changes are, but I'm. It actually makes it kind of exciting because I'm looking forward to see what happens. So, but shh, don't tell anyone. Don't let Nintendo know. <laughs> They'll get mad. Yeah, don't let uh, with uh, Sakamoto know. He'll come over and bang them. They'll my be door. mad because they can't make money off of this. <laughs> anyway, so let's get to it. Now you've played this before, right? Oh yes, many times. I just haven't played this uh, updated version. That's why I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what could be different, you know, or like what's new to me. Here we go. Metroids, numerous incidents of the past have brought to light the highly destructive power of these life forms, spreading fear across all known planets, or it says. Hoping to secure peace in the galaxy, the Galactic Federation orders the extermination of the Metroid species. I was the best candidate for the job. Me, Mike, from the Clutcher's Vault. Nah, really. Those Metroids, their their little teeth are like quite horrifying. Yeah, also little... I love all the the sprite work in this game, like the loading or the title screen with the planet and the space. Oh yeah, these like little cutscene panels, it, it's so well done. It is, yeah. This is all all fan made, folks. And you know we're we're gonna talk about this again, but just like when do you guys see a lot of the like the levels and the animation like even samus's like idol like it's so well done it's so good yeah definitely as i mentioned before in my one video it is a true like passion project let's see so far everything seems pretty good I'm just trying to make sure uh, my controls work yep missiles work all right well everything looks I don't, I don't, again like uh, if i see anything that i think is different or a change i'll let you guys know but Besides that, let's just keep going. So this game actually takes place on Metroid's, uh, the home world of the Metroid called SR388. It's not the best name, but you know, that's what it is. Sounds like a Star Wars droid. It, yeah, yeah, it kind of does, yeah. C-3PO's brother. I think so. I think he's in the Mandalorian season three. Oh, yes. Well, spoiler warning, Corey, come on. <laughs> All right. He's voiced by, uh... I don't know, Ricky Gervais. <laughs> oh, gosh. Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> I could see both of those things. <laughs> Ooh, whoa! That is no. I've never seen... Again, so, again, I've, I've played this game many times, folks. That is no. I've never seen that little character just pop up. Oh, wow. <laughs> that kind of startled so me. They for added a new enemies. Okay, yeah, cool. That actually startled me for a second. I was like, what is that? <laughs> Ow. Jerk. These guys. I didn't realize we were playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Ah! <laughs> yeah, the jump scares are gonna get me. <laughs> oh lord. Speaking of Five Nights at Freddy's, I think it was like the most recent like PlayStation Direct, but they showed off some gameplay of the new one coming out. That's oh, actually they? like a 3D world that you explore and roam around, and it actually looks really cool. I was gonna say like the uh, I remember the trailer for it. I, I forget what the actual game is called. Like. Uh, I'm gonna look it up right now. Yeah. I also forget. But I think it being like like a full 3D game is pretty cool. So I, uh, man, I, I got I gotta see some of the gameplay then. I'm sure it's terrifying. It is Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Security Breach. And go. yeah, like the world itself looks really cool. 
It, it's like really beautiful. It has like great lighting. Uh, I'm like really interested in it. I've never played any of the Five Nights at Freddy's games, but the uh, the oh, world itself is interesting. You're missing out. I love the story. Also, who's this guy? Oh, this is a little jellyfish monster. Everybody, what you saw over there, it looked like a Metroid. This looks like a Metroid, but then it uh, apparently like a is a Metroid Husker. You know, whatever you want to call it. Cocoon. And I, th I think Husk is probably better. But uh, So yeah, this is an Alpha Metroid, which is... Uh, the first in the evolution line of the Metroids. And this was the very first game to introduce this concept that, yeah, Metroids evolve over time. Which, again, it's... Uh, so, so, Metroids are just Pokemon. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so, that Pokemon... That uh, that Metroid clearly got to level 16, so it, it evolved into its next form. Oh, this is cool. Found... The logbook entry is kind of neat. So, when, when things pop up, you can press the pause button. And you can always, like, you know, go back to these things in your uh, logbook. I think it's uh where is the log book it's probably this room here yep so, so everything's here which is cool all the lore of the of the uh, whole universe is here in case you ever want to do like a nice little quick read but uh so what what this, what this recent one was saying is that there was a uh an earthquake and it for some reason happened when we killed a metroid and we saw that the lava went down that's how we're going to progress in the story kill more metroids uh, an, earth, an earthquake happens for some reason and the lava uh lowers <laughs> I'm sorry, Corey. What were we, we going to say? Something Pokemon related, I think. Or... <laughs> I, I I was just going to say that the Alpha Metroid or whatever found like a Thunderstone in the cave or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was just digging a little hole when he touched a Thunderstone by accident. Something about that concept, though, you're just saying about hunting down the Metroids. It's like, oh, when stuff happens, yes, murder and things will happen. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> Good life lesson, Metroid. Yeah, I think uh, Samus uh, Samus Returns on the 3DS does a better job explaining how like killing the Metroids lets you progress. Basically, in that game, it's like the Chozo who are like, you know, I think we talked about them in the, in the Zero Mission. They're like the bird people who like you know gave Samus her suit and everything. They actually also were here, and uh, we'll, we'll you know we'll see some Chozo structures. I guess technically that save season that we were in is, is, is Chozo technology. All right, here's one. So what they in, in Samus Returns there was like there's there actual like gates that were that are locked off and you require Metroid DNA that you that, that you acquire from killing them and that lets you undo the locks and then keep going down the cave. But in the original Metroid on the Game Boy and you know this game just kind of follows it you know perfectly that yeah for some reason when you kill Metroids it causes earthquakes and then that just lowers the lava that way you can continue on with the game. So. That was a weird looking enemy. Yeah, it's like a. Eyeball fish with a bunch of spaghetti coming out of its head. Yeah, spaghetti monsters. Oh like hey, monsters. spaghetti! The spaghetti god. This <laughs> ah. You ever hear about that? Like the flying spaghetti monster? Uh, no. Um, I think it's like a thing, like mocking religion or something. Uh, probably. But like a, I, I think it was like a Reddit like, like meme a, or I forget. I'm thinking a big spaghetti monster. I, I for some like what's that one monster that like Cthu uh, Cthulhu whatever? That's kind of what I was thinking of at first. My first spaghetti Close monster. <laughs> spaghetti tentacles. I'll eat them both. It doesn't matter. Nice. Oh, that's that thing. An updated is... sprite. Yeah, it looks different. Before I remember they looked more like a Metroid. Now yeah, they're like I more remember, bug like. Yeah, I think it looked like Samus's like helmet almost. So um, it's yeah, it looks that, like they actually updated a lot of the uh, enemy sprites. Yeah, it's funny that we only played this briefly before I you know I, I had to restart. But yeah, even like even you can tell that these sprites have all been updated. You know. Yeah, even the blaster shots and like the little explosion when the enemies die, I feel like yeah, it looks better. It's funny because in my in my like review video when I compared uh, this game and Samus Returns, I I mentioned how a lot of the sprites in this game were very like you know just they not as polished as other games, but from watching this from playing this this updated game now, I have to admit I'm, it, they definitely made some improvements. I mentioned this last time, but Whoa, I these could are still, definitely different. Oh my gosh! These, uh... I, I could I could still totally see them just making all the changes to make this legally distinct Metroid <laughs> and Samus like just make her armor like green or well I guess not green she'd look like Master Chief but you know yeah. <laughs> different yeah. color name her like Massis or something weird and uh, just call it like Betroid or whatever. Yeah, Cometroid. Anyway, Maybe I, add like a new gameplay element that wasn't in Metroid. Yeah. Whoa, that's 
cool. That's new. They actually told oh, you the area. Golden Temple. Neat. Yeah, before you'd have to read the logbook to see that. But yeah, guys, we were in the very first area of the game, the Golden Temple. It's actually like a Chozo Temple. But I, I like how you saw right there, like there's some green letters that popped up. Well, all the enemies have been updated. Oh my goodness. This is... Gosh, this is actually, I feel bad that I didn't, again, fake Metroid fan, I did not know that they updated this game. I should have, I should have reviewed this for the, the one video. I, I wonder if the, I, well, I bet that the boss sprites have been updated. Yeah, I'm actually, like, really well, intrigued. Or you, they, yeah. not even the sprites, even just their animation maybe might be improved. True, yeah, yeah. That's really exciting, actually. But yeah, guys, the first area of the game, the Chozo Golden Temple. It's, uh, pretty neat. A good little first area. I also think it's funny, we always joke about Always Sunny stuff, and, you know, basically, Samus is D, she's a bird p person. <laughs> I just, I, I can't believe you said that, but that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's blonde, too, it works! It does work. Alright, so, first upgrade. Ooh, even these little, uh, Chozo statues have been updated. Everything's they been look nice. I should they be, look nice. the word is just polished. Everything's been polished. Alright, so, yeah, got our bombs that, now. So upgrade. Even the bombs look different. Oh, and the explosions look different. Oh, I'm so I'm so happy that this update exists. Just makes the game look prettier. Prettier is always better. Alright, here we go. So now we backtrack. Yep. It's funny, As I feel bad because like... <laughs> it's funny cause because since you, since you were here when we first started the game, you like, you know... A lot of those will kind of look familiar. I think we got to the I think we got to the second area. That's when we yeah. you know called it a session, but then the uh, the uh, the audio just didn't work. Oh, that's I cool. I even know there were like little switches and stuff like that. Yeah, that 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 that's that was not in the original, but I think it's cool how they and they give us little puzzles in this area. Uh huh. Uh, let's see. I think we go down here. Ah, stupid machines. Yeah, the like bird turret yeah. things, they're pretty weird. Yeah. Just to praise another element about this game, uh, the music, oh, Chef's yes. Kit, so good. Yeah, they did a great job because they actually, um, the, the theme for this Golden Temple is actually a revised version of the Golden Temple theme in the original Metroid 2. Which, unfortunately, in, in Metroid 2, every area was just another another temple, you know, and all had the same very, like, the, the, the same theme, which I'll admit, if you ever want to look it up on Metroid, uh, Metroid 2 soundtrack, the, uh, it, again, it's 8-bit music, and the game has such good 8-bit music, sometimes. The, the majority of it's actually, like, pretty, uh, pretty, dr pretty draining, and, uh... I think they did a good job making it sound like an actual, like, mystical sound here. Like, I think this is, a, this is a pretty good little temple music. Yeah, they, I agree. But, I, but what I really appreciate is that not only does this game turn all the additional golden temples into other structures, and they, they also then give every area a new a new soundtrack or, you know, new audio. And it's all um, updated or, I, I guess, like, uh, covers of other Metro music, which is really cool. I love the attention to detail when those, like, turrets explode and all their, like, Little pieces parts. of metal go everywhere. It looks yeah. really cool. Wow, well, they actually added additional frames for the Morph Ball. The thing I mentioned before that the Morph Ball, you can see the Morph Ball turn around, but th there's definitely more, there's definitely more uh, frames here. That's much more, it's animated in a much better way. I like that. Again, as Corey said, chef's kiss. Mwah. Gorgeous. Sweet. This, this, this. Oh, no, this way. There we go. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Or what's that? What's that? Uh, the music when you get a star at Super Mario 64. Let's go. Pretty much. Yeah, something like that. We can't mention Super Mario 64. It is its last month available ever. They everybody, kill it this month. Everybody, buy your copy now before you regret it. Uh, let's see. That takes me up at the top of the temple. Let's go this way. Bought my copy day one. I didn't have to worry about it. Good boy. Good boy, Core. I'm proud of you. Although, technically, it wasn't day one because I, it's a long story. But when that game came out, I was actually vacationing in the Outer Banks, North Carolina. And the only place in, in the Outer Banks that would sell it would be Walmart. I don't even think there was a GameStop on the Outer Banks like, island area. Oh, really? 
And for some reason, the Walmart day one did not have any copies of it. And I'm like, what the hell? You guys don't even have one copy of it? Like, that's funny. Because... I thought this thing was like hard to find, but then when I come home to Pennsylvania, they have them like everywhere. They're like super easy. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I was actually kind of like happy to, to learn that because I, I was worried after the news of it not being available forever that they would be like like easily sold out like everywhere. But no, that wasn't the case. Walmart even had them. I think I think Walmart even had them cheaper. They were like only like 50, 50, uh, 50 bucks at Walmart. They do that a lot, yeah. So that was kind of nice. Ah, ah, stop. Ooh, got him. That, that was a nice little tease they showed us where it's like, oh look at that, there's an item over here. Time to go get it. <laughs> get it go this way. Ow. Oh, and uh, one thing I did want to mention that this game, again, made by made by True Metroid fans. So they basically made this game like Zero Mission Two, basically. And I, I am, you know, I love Zero Mission, and this game has all the same controls as Zero Mission, including the infamous wall jump. So I can like, like scale walls forever. Which is, you know. However, I don't think they let you really like sequence break in this game, but it's not a big deal. Ooh, there's a Metroid husk. I saw that. I wonder I if that means. Yeah, but I can't get up there. I can't climb. So let's go this way. Wh what? That is new. Oh my gosh, I'm scared already. Oh man, that looks like it spawns those little guys. I. Okay, I'm, oh. actually, I'm actually terrified. I've never seen that before. Oh my gosh, I'm going this way. Maybe a missile. I, oh. sh I shot a missile. It didn't do. It didn't do anything. Oh okay. Which oh, really terrified me. Like, my weapons are useless. All right. Spider Ball, which is actually was introduced in this game, the Spider Ball. And it, Watch like, out for those Disney thorns down there. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the Disney thorns. Like Maleficent's, like, castle. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, now there's two of them. That thing is very horrifying. I know. I'm actually going to see. Oh, there will be three now. Oh, my God, there is. I was only kidding. Huh. I, I, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm curious now. There going to be four. What? Go down again. Maybe it can only handle three. Yeah. Maybe now it goes back to one. Yeah. It okay, can't I'm, handle four. I, I'm actually I'm curious. What are you doing there, buddy? It doesn't hurt me, huh? Interesting. Huh? Maybe that's for like another item. Uh, this is actually pretty interesting. So I, I can't kill it. Huh? Okay. I'm gonna come back to you later. <laughs> I'm actually curious. Did you touch the little flies? Did they yeah, they didn't hurt me. Because I think oh, the, wow. remember early in the game when like I, like one the, the first one appeared and I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? I, I'm yeah. pretty sure it just like clipped right through me, so it looks like it, it, they don't hurt me. Oh, well, I, I'm very I'm, I'm this is almost it's not really, but it's, it's kind of like a new game now because I'm just all, all the new things that I'm going to be experiencing. Ooh, spikes, spikes are scary. Ah. I really hope that they added like some random extra boss that you've never fought. That'd oh, be my great. Gosh. That it'll make this let's play so much better. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. Take that and your green butt. Yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot to mention one of the others I got was the charge beam in, in the temple. Just like uh, you know, like many other games, it makes my shot a little bit more powerful. And they actually they actually uh, introduced the uh, or they included the uh, same feature from Prime, uh, Me well, Metro Prime Two and Three that. When you use a charge beam, it actually has like magnetic properties and it pulls in stuff for you. That way you don't have to you don't have to go touch it. Let's see. If I was Samus right now, this would be so tense. I know, I'd be like da, 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 da. don't wanna fall. Da, da, da. I don't wanna fall. Oh whoa, I got stuck there. Ah I oh, oh no, man. the fear happened. I, <laughs> oh, it's okay, you're fine. And this is why <laughs> Samus has PTSD with that stuff. But, yeah, but I I hate that like even in the, even in the original games, like the 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 uh, the Spider Ball controls can be even can, can be finicky because like let's say because right, right now I'm holding left but I'm going I'm just going forward you know what I'm saying I'm just moving on, onward. But if I actually like let go, I have to click a different direction to move in the direction I want to go. Actually, I'm gonna, oh, ah, not trying to do that. Not trying to do that. I want to kill this little guy because he's getting on my nerves. He deserves to die. Yeah, yeah, you have to try to get past his brother, which yeah. is the tricky part, because yeah. you can't really attack him. You just yeah. have to almost, like, mosey on by. Yeah, Tom wasn't the problem, but Ted became the problem. Where's Ted? There's Ted. What I'm going to do? do this. There we go. Oh, get wrecked. 
bomb to the face? Oh no. Oh no! And they have Timothy. a third sibling! It's Timothy. Oh no. Oh no, no, it's another one of those horrifying horrifying fly things. I know. Maybe he won't hurt me. Okay. I'm actually really concerned about these guys. Yeah, see, Can you jump on that thing? Maybe. No, just go no, right through I'm it. No, I'm sorry. No, that's all right. Well, actually, no, that, that's all there was up here. I'm just really intrigued. I mean, again, I'm just happy that there's new stuff in the game at, at, at all. Um, actually, I think, I think even these statues have been updated, too. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, they look really cool. Yeah, joyous day. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is like Christmas for me now. Now, this area actually is pretty small. So, uh, one thing here has really been the... One thing, one, thing, one thing here is too different, I guess. But, as you saw, oh, also, you might see in the top right corner, there's our map and our Metroid counter for the area that we're in. So, there are three more Metroids to kill. But, we scoured the entire Golden Temple. Well, time to go to the, uh... I Those guess things the, are pretty creepy. Yeah, these things are kind of creepy. Pat. They almost look like little, like, face huggers. They, 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 oh my gosh, they do, yeah, because their teeth and everything, they kind of do look like they're just like, here, give, give me a hug, Samus. Or, give me a kiss. Like, they just latch onto her chest, and it's just like, ah, get it off, get it off! Just like a Metroid, oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's see, ooh. Actually, the char beam shoots really fast. Interesting. Anyway, so now, this is kind of like the Phase 2, and, uh, every area had one of these areas, where you have, like, your, the Golden Temple, or, you know, whichever the structure was, and then, like, a Phase 2, which is, like, beneath it. And I love the sinister music here. Yeah, it's gross here. It looks like mold. Yeah, it does. I think they, again, they do a good job kind of explaining like what this area is, because obviously you know we're on an alien planet. Just it could just be a cave, but they do a really good job of ex kind of explaining that these areas are actually like the breeding grounds that the Chozo used to to raise the Metroids. Oh, yeah, scanning environment. Let's see what it says. Yeah, these are uh, breeding grounds. Cool. And yeah, which is pretty neat. And there's little tendrils. I think in the original game they were just like spikes, but in this game, I think that they're supposed to be like, like sapping. Like they, I, th I think the the log did a cool job of, of explaining like this is where like little creatures can get stuck, and so that way that way the Metroids can feast off of the the creatures, the creatures that get stuck. Kind, kind of like a web almost. Let's see. Let's Makes me think of those like plants in the Amazon that like the bugs fly into. Oh, yeah, like fly traps and, them. and then they slowly yeah. just get dissolved. Should be one in here. I was thinking of a... I forget what it's called, but it's like that plant that Vile Plume is based off of, like that big red one. Oh, the Reflesia plant, yeah. Yep, yep. Because as I mentioned before, they do look a lot like thorns. Yeah. yeah. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, get out of here. Ah. Two more to go. Kind of digging the background of the environment here. It's really cool. Another one. Oh, that was one of those. Uh, yeah. That looked like one of those little flies that comes out of those big it, flies. It, it did. It was like green looking too. Hmm. Shoot another one here. There he is. <laughs> Clip right through him. He just didn't care. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like. What is that what you got, bitch? Ah. He's gonna stay in here. Ah. Well, never mind. He's too smart. His tactics of flying into the wall. Genius. I also love that little animation when, like, a, a rocket or missile hits an enemy and it kind of, like, bounces off and just kind of, like, falls. Yeah. There we go. You can actually tell that the the Alpha Metroids are slowly getting bigger because they're like growing almost. It took me a while to realize that, yeah. But like they're actually, they're, actually, they're, they're like little feet are actually growing and getting longer. Oh yeah. Oh, that's weird. Oh. Yeah, I see oh, some cool. up there too. They're, they're, they're feeding off of the mes the Metroid husk. Oh, that's a nice little attention. That is a very detail. nice little attention detail. Oh, guys, uh, to. Again, I don't know if it's the same developers who worked on the original game, but whoever did work on this game, I know you're watching this. And I just had to say thank you for putting that much love and care into this game. This one's a little easier. It's like combo breaker. Ah. 
They're like, get off my platform. That's my platform. <laughs> get off my porch. All right, and that's all four of them. I, I, that's, that's such a nice little detail. And there goes the earthquake. I love how they even added like a little animation for like their little like tendrils. Their little teeth are like their biting pincers. it. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. For anybody who's never played this game and you are a Metroid fan, I'd say you are really missing out. I'm not saying it like replaces the 3DS game. I'm just saying it's just it's good to appreciate a fan made game that that's this good. Like and this I will say is like a. It's not an official Metroid game, but this is a real Metroid game. It is, it is, it is just that enjoyable. Yeah, you did that whole video about it. Mm -hmm. Shameless plug. Yeah, they go check should, it out. It's cool. They should go check it out. <gasps> oh. This guy definitely got updated. Oh my goodness, he looks much more menacing. He he looks much more menacing. Yeah, he's really cool. Yeah. This guy, I think they mentioned it. Oh. He's giving like me like a kaiju mecha vibe, almost like Mecha Godzilla. I think you're right. Here we go. The Ancient Guardian. So he's obviously a robot that the Chozo made to guard this temple at. Oh, okay, the greens, fireballs. Uh, fireballs get crap. Uh, that do? Fire. They're all, they're, all, they're all fireballs. There we go. I think blue is like shoots directly, directly at me. What's that? Fireball? Yeah. yeah. There's some Indiana Jones shit going yeah, on right here. Yeah, with the spikes is. closing in. Yeah, it is. You would think Samus could just, like, shoot at the spikes. Like, what makes them indestructible? Yeah, I don't know. That's always been a problem well, with Metroid. Like, or she they... could even just jump up that corridor that the thing is kind of, like, guarding. I wonder if you probably could. Actually, I think later in the game, once you kill this thing, you can get up there. And there That's is, cool. There is a, uh, I think, like, a missile up there or something. I don't... Also... Also, back to my mecha comparison, I like the little laser beam eyes. Very mecha Godzilla. Oh, yes. Speaking of mecha Godzilla, there's rumors that he's going to be in Kong versus Godzilla or whatever, which I'm all about. I love mecha Godzilla. That's pretty, pretty neat. That was tasty. All right. So I don't have the high jump boots, but I think I can still get up there like this. Let me see. Oh, nice. Yeah, I can. I was going to so. say, do you want to just kind of have to cling on the wall? Then you can just wall jump? Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. I can do that. Let me see if I can get up there. Ah. I think breaking should be good. Oh, so close. There, there you go. go. There you go. Yeah. Sequence yeah, breaking. Ah, <laughs> uh, I broke it. Well, don't you just have to go down and have it all respawn again? Yeah, I think you're right. Now I know, folks. Just got to take it one bomb at a time. One bomb. There you go. Just take life one bomb at a time. <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt. So the bomb actually does is... I don't jump with the bomb. It just uh, breaks. I bet that's intentional so that way I can't get up here. Because I want to say this is all just... These are all bomb blocks. These are bomb blocks. Hmm. Ah, uh, they, they they developed it well, so you can't sequence yeah. break. I actually did kind of give them kudos in my video. There we go. Got it. Oh, yeah. I think you're good now. Yeah, there you go. Just do that. <laughs> Booyah. Free missile upgrade. Yep. Woohoo! The yellow door requires a power bomb, which I do not have yet. Oh, wow. That's actually kind of cool. I, I, I've actually never done that before, but... uh. I wouldn't call it much of a sequence break, because all, all it was for was for a... Uh, just, uh, yeah, it was yeah. an upgrade. At least now I know, hey, there's a, uh, a door up there for later. <laughs>